This is a miracle. There is no question that there are problems in this country between police and community. Yes, you are a donkey. To the latest on that police killing of a black man. Now to new developments in the deadly spa shooting rampage. Um, and yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. And so we are in a state of emergency. Okay, white supremacist violence is and always has been the number one threat to our society. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. My wife is white. Amen. The, the Breakfast Club, bitch. <laughs> Drop one of clues. Please tell me, why was I your donkey of the day? <laughs> Drop one of clues, bombs for Taylor Gang. New donkey of the day intro for America. Uh, donkey of the day for Tuesday, April 27th, goes to a former U.S. senator from Pennsylvania named Rick Santorum. Uh, you might know Rick Santorum. He's 62 years old. Uh, he served in the Senate from 1995 to 2007. And he's a commentator on CNN, okay? Rick is a white man, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a white man who is speaking to a conservative group called the Young America's Foundation. That scares me, by the way. It scares me because the Young America's Foundation is a conservative youth organization whose stated mission is ensuring that increasing numbers of young Americans understand and are inspired by the ideas of individual freedom, a strong national defense, free enterprise, and traditional values. Nothing wrong with being conservative, but... The last president has blurred the lines between being a conservative and a white supremacist. Or maybe the last president pulled the coned hoods off conservatives and revealed them for the white supremacists they are. I don't know. I just know when uh, I see guys like Rick Santorum in front of a group of young kids, I know that he is instilling in them a set of values and ideologies that many of us have been waiting for are wishing died off a long time ago. Okay, folks say it all the time. Uh, All we have to do is just sit around and wait for old racist white folks to die and the world will be a better place, but not when they grooming them young. Okay, this is like Back to the Future when old Biff stole the DeLorean, went to the past, and gave young Biff the sports almanac. Okay, that's what I see when I see guys like Rick Santorum talking to an organization called the Young America America's foundation. He is just passing along that old white supremacist playbook. Uh, Run these plays, kids, and you too will continue to be at the top of the caste system in America. And one of the main ways I feel they keep uh, their own with a superiority complex is by erasure. Okay, simply don't give any other race credit for anything. In fact, don't even acknowledge lower caste as human and tell young white kids that white people in America built everything and every other race is lazy animals who deserve to be beneath them in the caste system. And voila, whiteness will continue to rule everything around me. You think I made all that up just now, huh? You don't think Rick Santorum or any other white person would dare teach that to a child? Well, that's what audio clips are for, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick Santorum talking to the Young America's Foundation last Friday. I don't know of any other country in the world that was settled predominantly by people who were coming to practice their faith. They came here because they were not allowed to practice their particular faith in their own country. And so they came here mostly from Europe and they set up a country that was based on Judeo-Christian principles, Ten Commandments, and the teachings of Jesus Christ. That's what our founding documents are based upon. It's in our DNA. If you think of other countries like Italy and Greece and China and Turkey and places like that, they've all sort of changed over time. And their culture has sort of evolved over time. But not us. We came here and created a blank slate. We, We birthed a nation. From nothing. I mean, there's nothing here. I mean, yes, we have Native Americans, but there isn't much Native American culture in American culture. It was born of the people who came here pursuing religious liberty to practice their faith and have the freedom to do so. Those are the two bulwarks of America, faith and freedom. Mm. Let's unpack this. Like my therapist would say, there is a lot here. Okay, but it's two points in particular that stand out to me. Uh, Number one, Rick said America was birthed by people who came here to practice their faith, said they set up a country that was based on Mosaic laws. Can we play that, please? So they came here mostly from Europe and they set up a country (laughs) that was based on Judeo-Christian principles, Ten Commandments. Hmm. Ten Commandments, the teachings of Jesus Christ. That this white man said that the founding documents were based on those principles. Well, let me tell you something, Rick. If this is the case... Y'all are going to hell, okay? Based off your logic, you just said that y'all built this country off the Ten Commandments. Number six commandment, you shall not murder. Number eight commandment, you shall not steal. What is colonization but theft and murder? What is it? 
What do you call waging war and perpetuating massacre after massacre against Native Americans? Native Americans were slaughtered in the name of civilization because their skin was dark, their language was foreign, and their worldviews and spiritual beliefs were outside of the realm of the white man's understanding. Now, Rick Santorum didn't even acknowledge that. In fact, he said they came to America with a blank slate. The only reason that slate was blank was because colonizers wiped everything off it. Okay, you birthed the nation from nothing from nothing after the U.S. government authorized over 1500 wars. Okay, attacks and raids on Native Americans, the most of any country in the world against indigenous people, by the way. Now, I'm sure some kids in that Young America's Foundation were thinking, well, what about Native Americans? I mean, they were here. Did you hear what Rick Santorum said in regards to our beautiful Native American brothers and sisters? Listen, we came here and created a blank slate. We, we birthed a nation from nothing. I mean, there's nothing here. I mean, yes, we have Native Americans, but there isn't much Native American culture in American culture. Do you know why? <laughs> Do you know why there isn't much Native American culture in American culture? It's because these faith-based people who built the country of faith and freedom and the Ten Commandments violated the number six commandment and killed the majority of them. Okay, I'm no historical scholar. I just read a little bit. I'm not the strongest Avenger by far, but I know if this was Infinity War, the white man was Thanos, and he had all six Infinity Stones, and he snapped his fingers, and by the close of the Indian Wars in the late 19th century, fewer than 238,000 indigenous people existed. Now, all I have is a high school diploma from Berkeley High School in Mount Corner, South Carolina. I graduated in night school, so my math isn't the best. But 238,000 is a sharp decline from the estimated 5 to 15 million indigenous people who lived in North America when that bum-ass, trash-ass Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Racial genocide, all right? They set up a caste system that showed the differences in skin color, spiritual beliefs, worldviews, and they made themselves paranoid enough to paint indigenous people as savages who must be killed in the name of civilization and Christianity. Never mind the Ten Commandments we swear by. Okay, thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not kill. Eh, it's fine if it helps us establish civilization. Now, let me tell you something. We are never going to get anywhere we need to be in this country as long as people like Rick Santorum exist. You're standing in front of a group full of young folks lying to them about American history only to preserve the caste system. We will never get to where we need to be in this country if we are not having honest conversations with each other. OK, we have to tell the truth and shame the white devil. And, six, and since Rick Santorum won't tell you the truth about America and how it was colonized, we must turn to a white man that we can all trust. His name is Peter Griffin. You want to know the history of America in a nutshell? Listen to Peter Griffin. I declare this land Cohorn. This place is nothing but a wilderness. What are we going to do? We're going to build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims. Um, everybody who's not a white man. Ah, <sighs> America. Just know, America, it's not how we start it. It's how we finish. But guys like Rick Santorum can't come with us. Please let Chelsea Handler give Rick Santorum the biggest hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Travel on the clues, boss, with Peter Griffin, a white man we can trust. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.